And uh, this is where we come to communion. Communion is a social bond that is forged around the fact that we have nothing in common, right? That nothing, that nothingness is what we have in common. That what we have in common is we are all alienated. We're all creatures of desire. And in Simone Weil's words, we all suffer. So when Simone Weil talks about suffering and the universal dimension of suffering, she's not talking about how everybody hits a hammer off their thumb occasionally or that uh, that everybody loses somebody or everybody goes through heartbreak, right? She's not. She doesn't mean that at all, right? That's true, and she'll of course some people and some people have more suffering and some people have less. But what she's saying is that suffering is ontological. It's it's a dim- dimension of what it is to be human, and what she means by that is we are creatures of desire, and to be creatures of desire means we are creatures that experience lack. And as creatures who experience lack, we want to fill that lack. <laughs> and the the disparity between the desire and the fulfillment is, is suffering. So in a way, you can think about her name for that alienation really as suffering. Suffering is universal, capital S suffering. There's small s suffering that happens, and that's different for you and me. It's different for everybody. But it doesn't matter, even if you've had the most privileged life, you still suffer. At, by dint of being a creature of language, a creature of desire. Suffering is the mention of of us. And in fact, Simone Weil in a way is saying that to love someone is to love their suffering, to love their lack, to love that that part of them that is uh, kind of, that has a, it has a shape, right? Just like a vase is nothingness, something is around it, you, you shape the nothing. All of our lack is shaped. In, in unique ways, um, but love uh, orients to that, to that nothing, right? Um, so communion is gathered together around uh, a liturgy of lack that, uh, and it's called communion because communion is a, is a social bond that is forged around the death of God, which is the ultimate lack, right? The ontological, the lack at the heart of everything, right? You can think of the death of God as a shorthand of saying that, that nothingness is in the heart of everything, including the absolute, right? Um, so it's a, it's a meal or it's a social bond around a recognition of that, right? And not just a recognition of that, a consumption of that, right? You consume this loss. And in the consumption of that loss, you are connected to everybody. Depend doesn't matter what belief they have, where they're coming from. All of us, in all of our difference, in all of the different identities, we have difference itself in common. And this is different from the typical right and the liberal left at the moment. You know, the right uh, affirms universal values that we all share. So for the right, the watchword is equality, right? So you know, whether it's meritocracy or blind justice or whatever it is, that, that in a sense, there are certain universal principles um, and uh, those unify us. Now, as I say, because all communities have exclusions, there's always implicit exclusions, right? Um, and that's one of the things that the liberal left are very good at pointing out, is that these universalist uh, positive uh, claims these positive identities exclude people. So you have a universal declaration of human rights uh, written by people who are slave owners, right? There's always some excluded other, necessarily excluded other. And so kind of within the liberal left, you have the idea that of equity, there are different groups, different communities that have different identities and there's no universal positive identities. The difference between uh, community in these communities is the communion is a place where it says no there is something we all share in common and it is nothingness itself it is lack itself 